Hi my YouTube family, plastic surgery research family, surgery buddies family. I wanted happy Sunday and most importantly, happy Father's Day. Welcome to June 18th. I know you guys were like, where is she? Where has she been? Well, you guys have been keeping me busy. Plus, you know, I don't really like to hit record to come on here unless I have something legitimate that I kind of wanted to express with you guys so that you guys are fully aware of what's coming up, what to expect, <clears throat> what am I feeling, is it right, should I go to the ER, should I do this, should I do that. So I kind of have been doing some research and some recon for you guys to make sure that once I hit that record button, I'm coming with facts. Um, so in any event, let me kind of give the shout outs to all of the fathers that you, we have out there. Us women, especially who is going through surgery, who have just had surgery. We all need the support of a significant other and as well as our family. And most of the times, the most support will or will not come from uh, the fathers in our lives. So make sure that irrespective of what you do wish everyone a happy Father's Day. I hope they did have a good day. But moving on to surgery stuff because I know that's what you guys want to know. So I did a little bit of um, research and I kind of stepped out of the box this time. There's a few of my surgery buddies, not from my initial pack, but a few that I've gained along the way and um, recently have surgery. They're about uh, two to three weeks, two weeks, two to three weeks, almost a month out um, in their recovery process. And I kind of reached out to them. I presented them with a few questions on how they're feeling to make sure that what I felt and what I went through is kind of conducive to what they were experiencing in reference to the type of surgeries that we've collectively had. So first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Bridget, to uh, Joy, to Ranisha, who pretty much were the few that I pretty much present a few questions to collectively over the weekend and they were very very um informative and made sure that i was not going crazy in reference to how i felt about the procedures that i had meaning how my body felt how i was feeling what was i experiencing so i kind of took some notes for you guys so today we're going to go over different um uh, things that I had done as well as um, these surgery buddies of mine and how we pretty much felt when we had them. So I first want to talk about um, how does it feel when your body is swollen? Okay, so uh, once you've had lipo, whether it's just full body lipo, BBL, uh, tummy tuck, with muscle repair, any kind of lipo, at some point in time, especially in your stomach region, it is going to get super hard. It's going to feel almost like, especially for the mothers that have had children, they will kind of know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you are not a mother, you will still feel exactly what I'm expressing. Um, it's going to feel super, super hard almost like you're having a contraction within that area and it's going to feel almost like you're really bloated like you just you you know uh it's super super hard it's almost like uncomfortable to the touch not that it hurts it's just really really hard that is normal that is just your body uh i guess going through the motions of it you know getting used to the lipo i don't know what the hell it is to be honest but it is normal when you're feeling that. So don't feel that, oh my God, there's something wrong. It's going to go and come. It's going to, one moment, it's going to be super hard. One moment, it's going to be really, really, um, uh, it's going to go back and forth from hard to soft. But at the same time, especially if you are walking out of your faha for a few hours, you may experience it. Especially if um, you uh, ate a little bit too much, you're going to feel it. It's just going to feel that it's an overwhelming amount of bloatedness or hardness. But it, as as time goes by, 
it does get better but it still happens like I'm almost three months post-op and I'm still feeling it I'm still experiencing it but whenever it does happen to me what I do is I kind of will get home I rub my my stomach or my sides or wherever the area that feels super hard with like arnica or cocoa butter or something and then I'll put my butt back in my faja with compressions and just relax for you know an hour or two and then it will eventually correct itself so that is completely normal we are going to be feeling that for an extended period of time so get used to it how does a tummy tuck feel so this to me is a joke because <laughs> it's kind of like an inside joke but anyhow I have been trying to come up with the perfect description of how does a tummy tuck actually feel like ever since I've had my tummy tuck it's just been baffling to me man how can I explain the feeling to someone else so you know I, I kept on going back and forth with it back and forth with it so I came up with the exact feeling and I'm super super happy that when I actually presented it to my surgery buddies they actually agreed with me okay so a tummy tuck feels and I don't this is not to scare you guys in any way shape or form but it is kind of trying to prepare you guys for you to know the kind of feelings that you will be experiencing and that whenever it does happen to you it is actually normal it's not something for you to panic about be like oh my god I need to go to the ER I need to call someone so a tummy tuck feels like someone cut your body in half and pieced it together at your incision site. And when it's time for you to get up from sitting, it will take your upper body like a minute to become in sync with your lower body. And then your entire tummy tuck belly button incision will be numb to touch. It feels kind of weird. Whenever you do touch it yourself, it almost feels like rubber, like a rubber Tupperware. Uh, when you clean, like, you know, when you, you there's like a rubber Tupperware that you clean with Dawn. It kind of has that squeaky kind of feel to it, that rubbery, like once you touch the Tupperware, clearly it's rubber. So it kind of feels like, uh, like squeaky, cleany kind of feeling. You know, like you could make sounds like that t -t 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 sound to it. <laughs> you, you're going to know. And then you, uh, while you've had, eventually, before I get to that, eventually that whole um, upper body, lower body not being in sync with each other, at some point in time, they are going to become in sync with each other. And then you're going to feel normal. But it does actually take time like now I'm kind of feeling you know uh, having some kind of feeling sensation within my um, tummy tuck incision it's not a hundred percent there but definitely the nerve endings excuse me are connecting itself and it is kind of feeling uh, it is kind of still f uh, becoming to feel some level of normalcy but also, whenever you do have a tummy tuck, especially with muscle repair, you are going to kind of experience some acid reflux where you may actually go to bed at night and you may feel like, oh my goodness, like I just, whatever I ate just feels like, like it's either burning or it's just feel like I just feel so uncomfy. So you are going to feel sometimes that if I sit up straight, especially with that, with the faha on, you will kind of feel better over time. So ex you will experience that. I know I know. I remember mentioning that on a previous video, but the truth is you might have to take like some antacids or something before you go to bed. Also, when you have a tummy tuck, you are going to experience from time to time. It's very, very sporadic. You're going to feel like, like some shortness of breath from time to time. And it's going to come on like when you least expect it. And then you're kind of going to feel like, oh my God, is there something wrong with my lungs? Like what's going on? Like, do I need to go to the ER? No, it's normal. It's actually from your muscle repair and you're actually, your, your body it, and your lungs is giving you a chance to like, you know, learn how to breathe again pretty much with the tightness of your muscle repair so slowly but surely it happens to me still from time to time but not as often as how it did when i first got my tummy tuck 
um, sleeping after tummy tuck is very, very difficult. That is normal. You are going to go through that for like about a good, uh, I still have issues sleeping and I'm, and I'm, uh, not close to three months yet. I am with two weeks out, but at the same time, I still suffer from sleeping at nights. I am now able to sleep on my sides. So I kind of sleep on my side, left side for half of the night, right side for half of the night. I have not tried sleeping on my stomach yet. I'm just not there yet for me to attempt that. Um, but um, otherwise, lipo, this is how lipo feels. And to me, by far, I'm here to tell you, I honestly feel that lipo is the worst. The tummy tuck is cakewalk. The... um the muscle repair cakewalk lipo in my opinion is the worst you're gonna feel sore spots all over your body wherever you have had lipo done and then you're gonna feel at some point in time sharp stingings of nerve repairing and it is gonna become itchy at some point in time where your whole body the moment you take off your faha you just feel like you want to itch all day all night sometimes it keeps you up at night sometimes you have to take Benadryl to sleep sometimes you have to take other medication to sleep it's just a part of your body healing but it is very annoying sometimes you're like itching itching all over um, and then sometimes like uh, you're gonna feel lumps at the area where you had lipo so any chance you get that you could massage it out just go right ahead and massage it out um, in the same areas where the lumps are it is gonna feel tender to touch um, and then when you first have lipo then you're gonna have like limited flexibility like it's gonna be hard for you to do like sudden movements because it kind of feels like your body and your skin is not aligned with each other. Your your skin is going to feel like paper, like almost like um like tissue. That's how thin it's actually going to feel on on your skin because your nerve endings has to connect itself your skin has to connect itself back to your body kind of if I'm making myself clear. But that is exactly how lipo feel. But lipo by far is the worst. Like it is, I, I don't know. It, it does it at some point, I guess it will get better slowly but surely. But I'm still having those lumps on my sides. I'm still feeling like my entire back is burning like I had a sunburn. When I get up in the morning, I have to literally sit on the side of my bed and I have to like, you know, make sure that my body is connecting with my mind and I have to kind of like take it easy to get up and you know again the sudden movement thing doesn't really work um so I had a surgery buddy that um she had arm lipo done I didn't have the chance to get arm lipo but she did and she was pretty much able oh yeah another thing with the uh, lipo um no another thing with how does it feel how does it feel when you have fluid build up as a result of the lipo all right it kind of feels almost like you have ants crawling under your skin or it, it feels weird but it's actually the fluid moving from left to right <laughs> i know i know i'm not trying to scare you guys but you know i gotta keep it real it feels almost like that is the feeling. It feels like you have little small running ants running under your skin, but it's actually the water or the fluid that is uh, under your skin. But eventually, if you keep on getting the massages, it will eventually go away and within time it will go away. So back to my surgery buddy that had arm lipo she pretty much provided me with info for you guys especially the ones who is anticipating having arm lipo this will kind of give you like an inside of how it feels after she says um when it's compressed it feels good but take that compression off and it's hella it's achy it's it's super super achy discomfort she says it's extra tender extra sore she says pretty much um, it's very hard for you to have like any kind of fashion like a shirt or something that's rubbing up against it she said or like tight fashion like if you had like a 
like a uniform or something that you have to wear. She said it becomes extremely uncomfortable. She says, and super painful lumps and tender. Um, she says when it gets cold, you feel it, uh, the nerve in your arm lipo, like a deep cold ice ache that stings with or without the compression. Um, I hope I'm making sense in reference to the way that feels because she pretty much just wrote it to me and I kind of just cut it and pasted it into my notes. Um, but pretty much it is tender to touch. It's sore. It's very, very difficult for um, you to wear like a uniform or like scrubs or anything like that. It hurts. She says it does feel better whenever you have the compression on, but whenever you take it off, it's pretty much hell. Um, I really hope that that helps you guys and, you know, in uh, pretty much being prepared as to what to expect, even though I personally feel everyone's um, experience may or may not be different. Um, you may experience the same things that we've experienced, but at least it will give you guys an insight as to what you can, can look forward to, can prepare your mind mentally for, even though I truly feel that having plastic surgery is definitely nothing that you could fully prepare yourself for because you've just never experienced nothing like this before. I already ex told you how a BBL feels to me. It pretty much feels like someone placed hot rocks under the skin of my ass and it's hard to touch. Even now, I still feel some hardness um, in certain pockets, certain areas. But remember, it's, a, it's an area that you can't massage. Eventually, I guess it will fluff. It keeps on fluffing. And then it will become bigger and bigger. And then I'll freaking fly away. I mean, I'll float away like a Thanksgiving Day float. I don't know. But at the same time... I take it with grace and I knew I know exactly what I was getting myself into at the same time it's just never something that you could fully fully prepare yourself for mentally um, you can prepare your body for it in terms of vitamins or whatever but mental wise it takes a while like even this weekend like I was home a lot over the weekend I was binging on a lot of my movies sometimes I do that just to get my notes and my thoughts in play but at the same time it becomes boring during this surgery uh, journey type thing especially when you're limited to walk around you know you're limited you don't want to wear your faha everywhere it's hot as hell outside like you know it takes a strong person to take on this journey you have to be truly mentally prepared which is exactly why they give you those psych evaluations but at the same time, it takes patience and it takes uh, a lot of um, support from your family. You know, you can't just up and go every single wear. You have to take it easy. But um, I'm already coming in at 18 minutes. But I hope that this guys help you. I hope this video helps you guys um, to uh, an open an insight as to what to expect well i want you guys to have a really good week um good luck to all of my surgery buddies who will be having surgery this week i think i followed up on you all on surgery buddies man i got a serious influx a serious influx of requests on surgery buddies page i don't know if someone um uh, showed the page somewhere but i'm super excited that we are getting surgery buddies together and that you guys are out there supporting each other i gotta shout out my july surgery buddies you guys are seriously on it you guys have created a group you guys have created like documents for emergency contact you guys are really doing it. Like I sit down and I observe you guys. I'm going to come up with a, an incentive of some sort uh, to present to you guys. I don't know. I kind of want to give my little star leaders, Sergi buddies, something nice. I don't know. I may come up with tanks or something that you guys could wear under your fajas to let everyone know that you are the star surgery buddy leader of your pack so i am watching you guys and i am gonna come up with some tanks or something to mail it to you guys if i see that you guys are becoming leaders in your surgery buddy 
uh, groups or if you're following up on other people that's having surgery and you know making sure they're okay because I'll put, if someone don't respond I'm gonna put you guys on blast and be like hey what's going on where are you but I I did that I think last week to a young lady who I've been following up on for a few days and she just went MIA on me and her surgery buddy stepped in and answered and let me know that she was doing good and I promise you at some point I'm gonna reach out to that surgery buddy and I'm gonna mail her like a tank or something I'm gonna work on it for you guys uh, keep supporting each other keep being you know holding each other up this is a hella journey, but I heard that my July people are doing their thing. And I like it. I see it. I like it. I'm going to check on my... You guys, your July people already got it. So I'm going to move to the next month. I'm going to August to see if I could connect some surgery buddies. But um, take care, you guys. Have a good week. Good luck on all my ladies who are having surgery this week. And please, what I would like to see, some of my men come out the woodworks. Um... You know, I, I don't see you guys much. I know that they got some men out there having surgeries, but um, hopefully I will be able to reach out to you guys soon as well. Have a good night. Enjoy Father's Day, ladies who are under six weeks post-stop. Don't be doing no hanky-panky. All right, good night, guys.